In this video, I'm going to show you how you can have AI help you reply to your emails in Gmail and Outlook within seconds and totally for free. Let's start with Outlook. In this case, we have received email like this. Hi Thomas, could you direct me where the new Power BI report for marketing is located and how can I access it? Best Joe. We are going to be using Bing Chat, which is using ChatGPT and is directly built inside this browser. Here, what you want to do is that you want to click on this Bing Chat icon over here and you are going to have three different options here you have a chat compose and insights here you can start a chat with uh, being chat about anything that you want but what you want to do is that you want to go to compose and here you get many features which one of those also allow you to compose emails so here the first thing is that you want to write your prompt i have a quickly written one so here i am just saying reply to this and then i copied and pasted the email over here and then I'm giving a little bit more information to ChatGPT to answer this question. So I'm just saying it's located in the marketing workspace, Marketing BI, write a step-by-step -step process, how to get access and how to download an app in Power BI. So here I can have ChatGPT create the step-by-step -step guide, and then I can just send it over to this person. Here you can choose a tone of your message. You can go professional, casual, or even funny. I'm going to go with casual. I'm going to click on email because that's what I want to generate. And here I'm going to choose medium length. I'm going to hit the generate draft. All right, and as you can see, the email is being automatically generated. And because we wrote down to reply to this email, it was clever enough to recognize that it should sign me as Thomas because the email was directed to me. And then the person that we were replying to was Joe. Right now, what you can just simply do is that you can click on the reply button and we are going to add to site. You can see that we got the step-by-step -step process. The first one is for the Marketing Power BI workspace. And then the second one is a step-by-step -step guide on how you can download the app. And I can just send it over to Joe. Additionally, what you can do is that you can also add a greeting, change the order or use bullet points if you want to instead of the numbers. The second thing how you can use this is that you can also create emails from scratch. So here I quickly wrote down create an invitation email for an online webinar on how to use data in marketing. The webinar is for my marketing team and the webinar is going to happen on the 20th of June 2023 at 10 a.m. I can again choose the tone so I'm going to this time choose funny to just see how it's going to look like. I can then click on email. Let's do a short one this time and we are going to generate a draft. Here I got the funny email generated and if I want to I can also add a catchy subject line or change the link to a short URL. As you can see, the email contains a URL that I can change if I want to with this button. Let's say that I want to add a catchy subject line. So I'm going to click on this one. And just like that, I got a subject line for this email as well. And what I can do right now is that I'm going to click on my email that I'm creating. And here in the body, I'm going to add to side. If you have generated subject line, you can just simply copy this one here and then delete the subject line from the body email. And then you can choose who you want to send the email to. You can do the same thing in Gmail. So here, let's say I received this email and I want to reply to it. I'm going to again use the same structure, reply to this email. I copied and pasted the email over here. I'm going to do a professional this time, email and let's say medium, and I'm going to hit generate draft. And just like that, we got the email generated with a step-by-step -step guide on how they can access it as well as how they can download the app. And right now, if I'm just replying to this email, I can just click on the reply and add to site. And the email is automatically going to be added to my Gmail reply. You can see that the name is also correct as well as the signature. And if I want to create email, I can do it in the same way as in Outlook. I'm going to just write our prompt down here, create an invitation for a workshop for the whole organization. The workshop is going to be at our headquarters on the 20th of June, 2023 at 11 a.m. I'm going to choose enthusiastic. I'm going to choose email. And this time I'm going to make it long and I'm going to hit generate draft. Here in this example, I could have written my name here in our prompt. So then it would be automatically added to my signature. We also have three other options. We can add more details, change the format, or shorten the text but here in this example I'm just going to click on the body of my new message and I'm going to press add to site 
you can see that the whole email has been automatically added to my message. And right now I can either have AI create a subject line for this, or I can also change the format and have it shorten. If you enjoyed this video or if you learned anything new, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're interested in tech and AI, definitely subscribe down below because I post every single week. Thank you so much and have a great day.